you know, it's very, very rare that one facility will fail. But if we have earthquake hits, probably a wide spatial region will be affected. So we should consider those failure correlations. And this is how I'm going in right now. And then capacity the models, if the facility has, a, has capacity constraints. And then if we consider the frequency and duration of the disruptions, not just you know, independent of the, the time of part, fraction of time that is in failure, but also we consider known durations. Okay? And also, really, the big area here is the various uh, applications, because we, we could have a lot of applications in this area that this model is very, very generic. Okay, I'll put up like be applied to many, many different areas. And then, then how to apply this to, to different applic context, application contexts in the transmission systems? You know, how to locate different things like sensors? Okay, on a hybrid network, the sensors fail all the time, right? So how are we able to be able to plan the system knowing that it's going to fail? How will we achieve the best? Okay. So with this, I'll conclude my talk, and thank you for your attention. In the discrete case, you center your population in a given location. Yes. But your location was organized rectangular fashion. And uh, when you solve the optimum hexagonal packing, your locations are triangular hexagonal. So you, you should get you should get a close result if those dots are triangular with respect to one another. Oh, my bad. I, I, I apologize. Maybe I didn't make that clear. Those little circles are really just a point. I aggregate everything into a dimensionless point. Right, but the points are organized as, as in a, in a, it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a cable's four system now. You've got four points right. adjacent to one another. But if you have them in threes, in triangles, which ah. is how you get the hexagon out in the first place.